Niels Bohr, Nobel laureate and founder of the Copenhagen Interpretation, reshaped quantum theory. His words reflect the mystery and logic at the heart of quantum reality. Let's now explore 30 of Bohr's profound quotes on quantum mechanics. We must be clear that when it comes to atoms, language can be used only as in poetry. The quantum postulate implies that any observation of atomic phenomena will involve an interaction with the agency of observation not to be neglected. The very nature of quantum theory thus forces us to regard the space-time coordination and the claim of causality as complementary but exclusive features of the description. Isolated material particles are abstractions, their properties being definable and observable only through their interaction with other systems. The opposite of a correct statement is a false statement, but the opposite of a profound truth may well be another profound truth. The account of all evidence must be expressed in classical terms because the very word experiment refers to a situation where we can tell others what we have done and what we have learned. We are suspended in language in such a way that we cannot say what is up and what is down. It is wrong to think that the task of physics is to find out how nature is. Physics concerns what we can say about nature. Anyone who is not shocked by quantum theory has not understood it. It is still possible to argue that a measurement made on one of the particles may be regarded as exerting an influence on the very conditions which define the possible types of predictions regarding the future behavior of the system. In quantum mechanics, the act of observation is not passive. It is an integral part of the phenomenon itself. The observer and the observed form an inseparable whole in quantum experiments. Quantum mechanics replaces classical pictorial descriptions with symbolic probabilities that describe outcomes, not objective reality. Classical physics remains indispensable but limited. Quantum phenomena compel us to expand beyond its framework. In the quantum world, mutually exclusive concepts may both be necessary to explain the same phenomenon. Quantum mechanics does not describe how nature is, but what we can say about it under given conditions. The principle of causality in physics must be reinterpreted probabilistically within the quantum domain. The meaning of a quantum result depends on the totality of the experimental setup. In every quantum measurement, we obtain classical records even though the processes are fundamentally quantum. Quantum probabilities reflect fundamental limits not simply ignorance about physical states. Quantum transitions are not continuous, they involve fundamental discontinuities. Wave-particle duality is not a contradiction, but a complementary description of nature. Mathematics is the only consistent language we have for describing quantum events. Visualizing atomic processes through classical analogies often misleads rather than clarifies. Everything we call real is made of things that cannot be regarded as real. Objectivity in quantum mechanics arises not from observer independence, but from communicable measurement procedures. The boundary between classical and quantum descriptions is contextual, not absolute. Every measurement is a joint product of the system and the apparatus. It cannot be reduced to either alone. Planck's constant introduces a fundamental limit on the precision of simultaneous measurements. 
Scientific progress in quantum theory is driven by grappling with its paradoxes, not avoiding them.